Hi, go people. So, uh, L.A. police shows up to a guy holding a sword, and he uh, appears to come after the officer. Hey, put it up. Well, guess what happens? Raise your hand if you think this guy gets shot. Well, you'd be wrong. No, raise your hand on here. He doesn't get shot. They use a freaking taser. Amazing. Wow. These cops are earn earning a donut here. Here we go. October 18th, Wilshire Police received a call. When they say Wilshire. These are like subdivisions in L.A., like Shoot Newton. I tell my stories where I serve that warrant in Shoot Newton. That's kind of L.A. It's it's all kind of the same area. Uh, officers respond to location and took the suspect into custody. Put it down. Hey, back up, you people. I'm surprised they didn't shoot the dog, and I'm surprised they didn't shoot the people and shoot everybody in the area. They actually used a taser and took the guy down. Put it down. Put it down. Hey, back up, you people. So the guy looks surprised, and I think he's already cut somebody, but I don't know if the cops know this. But he takes a fighting stance here and faces them. Deadly force is authorized and justified at this point. But these cops use a taser because they didn't they didn't need to kill anybody. I mean, it's this is the way policing should be. We give them all these tools. We spend billions of dollars on tasers and batons and bean bags and all the training that goes into it and equipping all the cars with that stuff. I mean, just billions of dollars. And cops go, they're going to shoot and kill everybody every day and nobody has a problem with it. So these cops definitely earn a donut. Hey, put it he squares up and walks to him. Deadly force. Uses the taser. And he falls like a tree. Timber! That's going to leave a mark. Walks in and grabs the gun. Doesn't stand back. Order him with a gun. Scream, yell, wait for a SWAT team. Somebody bring me a shield. Call out the SWAT team. I need an armored truck. Walks up and grabs the thing. Why not? This is the way real men freaking not scared pussy cops do shit. Put that sword down. Shot his ass again. <laughs> Ricky was already on the ground. He moved. Do you saw his hand move there for that handle? Very quickly. See that hand? He puts the. He was here, faking or feigning. I'm unconscious, and then he moves to put his hand on the handle, which is aggressive. They could have shot and killed him again. This guy's like, hey, don't fuck around with me. I'll tase your ass again. Oh, that hurt. Drop the sword. Look, he's like Thor. There's like electricity coming from his sword. Or no, maybe that's Zeus. I don't remember. Drop the sword. 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 Did, did, did anyone notice that the equal empowered officer that gets paid the same didn't go in or didn't get close? Anybody notice that? The male officer, the mean, the mean male testosterone officer was the one that was up close and actually doing everything. And the diversity quota where PC hire was standing there doing a great job. She'll get the same award as the officer that did everything. Drop the sword! Drop the sword! Drop the sword. Meanwhile, in addition, Camus in the area located victims with stab wounds. The officer quickly got into rendering life-saving measures. And this is like a PR, please. The cops will be using this shit forever. Saying, look, we finally did something right. Look, everybody, look, we're good. We're heroes. Man, they got a couple good stab How did they not know this? This person didn't call 911? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Partner got her tourniquet. Ooh. Ooh, the ponytail police did something. Where's the wound at? Where you see Where you cut? Where's the wound at? Uh, that would be where the blood's coming from? I'm here, but it's somewhere in my body. What up, partner? Okay. Okay, so she says somewhere in my body that tells me probably a little in shock. Doesn't. Sometimes that's why you just don't communicate with people. You just act. Rip that freaking jacket off so you can see the cut or stab wound so you can put either tourniquet or direct pressure depending on what it is. And my daughter's in there. Is she, is she stabbed? Are you able to? Uh, no, no, no. I told her to okay. hide. Okay. Man, this woman's like, 
I told her to hide, now she stabbed. Uh, I'll read out. Oh, she's your great crybaby. Shut up, you fucking crybaby. You go read it. I'm here telling you I gotta read. She stabbed, but can you check the house or Checking the house or document. She stabbed multiple times before the certificate. Can someone just see for document? We don't know if she stabbed. Suspects it's gonna hurt, okay, but the tighter the better. Yeah. Oh, so it's a male putting on here. I thought it was a female. She said she got... Oh, the female officer must have just gave the male the tourniquet so he could put it on. Oh, Yeah, nice. She was helping him. The officer who responded and demonstrated bravery and compassion. Oh, my goodness. Who put this out? Oh, Los Angeles Police Department. PR Department. Shocking. Let's see if they tell us what happened. No. Nope. No narrative. Nothing. That's all right. We'll just, we'll just get out that we were heroes. Look, cops did a good job here. I'm not going to take that away from them. Unfortunately, this is the exception and not the rule. Well, since LAPD was too stupid to put any details, the woman that was stabbed was the mother. That was her son that stabbed her. Nice. Single mom power. Wow. No dad in the home. That's what we need. Strong, empowered woman raising a 23-year-old guy with a sword in a house, so he stabs his mom. Yeah, perfect. 43-year-old woman. Stab wounds. Transport. Actually, it doesn't say she was stabbed. It sounds like she was suffered from multiple wounds, including lacerations to her arm and torso. She's in stable condition. So they say stab, but then they say lacerations, the stable condition. I don't know if she was stabbed or not. You can't get any decent reporting from any damn news source nowadays. Uh, woman's attacked by her son, young man. Had been troubled. Aww, he's a troubled teen. Oh no, he's 23, he can't be a teen. He's a troubled young man. Being raised by a single mom, she did such a great job. We should praise everybody. Okay, the shows the dog near the man hit with a stun gun. Dog appears to run off. Perfect. So good for LAPD. Uh, this cop, the male cop, did a good job. Oh yeah, the female stood there and helped yell. Oh, she also let the male cop use her tourniquet. So, Let's give props to the ponytail police, too, since we're giving out props today. Earning a donut. Cops did good. Pretty rare occurrence. Pulling that there.